Hello guys and uh, welcome to a new episode of Marriage Channel. Today we're talking about tripods and I do apologize for filming indoors. Obviously there's COVID out there and I don't think people are very happy if I started filming out outdoors and taking a bunch of tripods with me. But today we're going to be talking about tripods and what they are and how uh, can you pick the right one for you and what do they do? Tripods, they do two things. Obviously the first one is they hold your camera so that you are... Uh, able to take a steady shot so that maybe you're filming or you're taking a photograph long exposure or you want to do some shutter work so you need to have a steady camera so that what it does the tripod holds it in position firmly and the second thing is if you want to hold it hands-free to film yourself or film any type of uh, picture you need to be on a tripod when you can't place it on the floor for any reason so all tripods are going to do the same thing let's start with the little one here this is my little, little tripod. It's very small. It's very, uh, actually it's quite solid for its size. And to test it out, we're going to be trying my Boots Amica 2. This is a very solid camera. It weighs about 700 grams. It's all metal and it's quite heavy, by the way. So if this can hold my 700 Amica camera, any tripod of this size can hold your camera. Because I don't think they do these cameras anymore they're very solid so here we go i'm gonna place it on my desk here and here it is it's doing the job perfectly fine now i'm able to take a picture make a little uh, i don't know youtube vlog I can just place it here and i can start filming myself so this is the smallest of tripods you can probably find in the market this costs about a pound or two I don't know if you're talking about American dollars, maybe a couple of dollars, two, three dollars or four dollars, I don't know. We move into this one here. This is the next size up, in my opinion, I think. And this one comes in a very small package, yet it's extendable. So we have two segments here. This being the first segment and this is the second segment. So why would you need this camera? Uh, why would you need this stand? Notice that the way I'm putting this stand is using, obviously, the bolt that's in here and I'm just turning it this is so far this is what we've been doing because we're gonna look at other things so another stand is this gonna hold my weight probably not it's not the best construction I bought it from a pound shop actually it did a good job here you go it's holding my I don't know what that is let me just close this video sometimes weird things open up so what do I think of this camera of this tripod It's very good it does the job you can tilt it, rotate it, put it wherever you like. You got full 360 degrees for one pound. But it's not the most stable. So you can go left, right, you can do anything you like, any type of work. It will probably hold your camera, but not the steadiest. And also it's very short. So I don't know if you are to going to uh, outdoors, I wouldn't take that, unless you're taking a level field or something. So this is the second type of camera of uh, tripod I apologize and as we saw it does the job but it could be not suitable for all things so here we are size comparison let's put them next to each other let's move up in size one size up it is a very interesting tripod it's called the gorilla pod or uh, Gobi Joby they call it the Joby now this is very unique because it does open in a very bizarre way so again the exact same way you put it in here you've got this uh, each camera should come with this little uh, screw I don't know what is it called actually I used to remember but anyway you're gonna find the screw at the bottom you just turn it like that until it's in this one obviously yeah so we are locked in and then you can do all sorts of things with this gorilla pot and bend it, twist it, put it wherever you like. I don't know why, but they do advertise it as it goes onto three branches. So you can hold it, I don't know, into a, tip, a tree branch. Now, I have no idea why would you want to put your camera on a tree branch. But if I guess you are filming, I don't know, a monkey or filming some type of an animal that lives on a tree and you want to put your camera on a tree branch for some reason, then you can buy this very versatile tripod from Joby it's called the gorilla pod and it's actually quite sturdy a lot of people 
such as uh, this famous YouTuber, I forgot his name, KC Neistat. He, he made it very popular because he used to vlog like that. It looks very bizarre. It's like you're holding a banana or like a, a dildo or something. I don't like it, to be honest. I don't like this at all, but um, for vlogging, but I do like it for uh, other work. I, I, I'd rather have a monopod for vlogging that you can hold a little stick and you can film better than holding this weird looking thing in the street but if you are working in the jungle then this is very very versatile and very good and I've used it millions of times in my everyday shooting very good tripod and it doesn't cost much about 20 pounds actually this came as a gift and there is an episode about it probably gonna find it here I'm gonna see how I unboxed it and what was in the box so that was a third tripod let's move up a little bit more to the next size up stay with me Moving up in sizes, we have this little tripod. Again, it consists only of two segments, actually three segments. So you have one here, and this is very important when deciding which tripod you're gonna buy, how many segments is it? Because the more segments it is, the longer it's gonna be. If you remember, this one has only two, and it was quite short. This one has three, so it's a little bit longer. It's about 45 to 50 centimeter long, or if you're talking about the British uh, measurement, it's about, I don't know, 30 inches, something like that. 25 to 30. So here we go. Now I'm trying to make it smaller so we can see how compact that is. And it is very compact. Here it is. Compact, you can put it in a bag. It actually comes with a bag, you can put it in. Very lightweight, it's about 200, 300 grams, very lightweight. You can put it anywhere you go, immediately open, put your camera and start shooting. And the best thing about this is that it's got a quick release plate. So remember some come with quick release plates and they're very important when you're in a go. Let's say now you're walking in, uh, in uh, I don't know, a field or a, you're walking in a muddy area and you want to put straight away your camera to start filming. You don't want to be faffing around, putting your tripod on the floor trying to screw your camera. Let's say there is an animal that you're trying to ambush quickly, take a shot off, maybe a bird that is gonna fly off. So the first thing you wanna do is have this thing installed. It's called the quick release, uh, quick release uh, plate or quick plate. You put it in, you hold it like that. Once you find the opportunity, straight away, put your quick release in and off you go. Your camera is ready to take some pictures. Ready for any action. Once you're finished, just take it out and continue. What? One. This is not obviously the best example. Two. So, what do you think? This is very nice and it's got another unique feature is you can tilt it sideways so you can film it vertically. Again, another feature. This only cost me 10 pounds and I did an episode on it. And you're gonna find it here if you're interested in this little thing. So let's remove that and move on to the next tripod and see which one works best for you. So far we've seen a couple of examples and I think if you are a bit more professional or you're a bit more into outdoors, I recommend something a little bit better. So let's move on to the next one. So our next size up. Our next size up is this little tripod. It's very light, however, it's solid construction, it's made of metal, and I bought it for 20 pounds from Amazon. Now this does not have a quick release plate, but it does have this thing, which makes it a little bit easier for you to place your camera. So this is a rotating screw. So what you do is you put in your camera and you screw it in place such as this and your camera is on and then you can pan tilt zoom do whatever you like and it's going to be sturdy and it's going to be holding it into place now this uh, this particular model is very light and it's meant for travelers it's not going to be the most sturdy because it consists of many many segments and as i told you the more the segment the less stable it is however you can still manage a lot of work with it and the best thing about it is the simplicity of how quickly you can extend it. And here you go. I'm ready to go on any trip and I've got my little tripod with me. 
so if you want to travel light this could be for you or this or this and let's continue our review of tripods remember what we're looking for is how many segments how light it is how small when it collapses and what type of hook or attachment does it have this one is a rotating screw this one has a quick release plate now let's move on onto the next size up and it's this little jessup here now this jessup's stand i bought it a few years ago and it's, it, it passed the uh, test of time it's been with me for about 10 years now maybe more it never complained it's always working and i'm very very happy that i made this purchase the make is jessops i don't know if they still do this uh, anymore but here is the number the tp2220 from jessops very lightweight it's very very lightweight and very sturdy indeed it does have this beautiful handle where you can control how uh, tilt and pan you want to do so you can go up and down and you can go 360 degrees and you control how it uh, goes up and down using this so you once you rotate it you can't go anymore once you lighten it then you can and it's got all the features that you want again the same way you control you put your camera in and you rotate it like that the same exact method this one has another feature which is very important if you're filming let's say uh, the sky or bird or something you can also extend this as well so the overall height is very tall it's about a meter and a half it's very height and again very portable now let me just collapse it for you so you can see how uh, it collapses so you just do that you click it close it like that and then you have these quick release buttons or quick release uh, tabs and off you go easy peasy very lightweight i cannot emphasize how lightweight this is probably about 300 400 grams very lightweight you can hold it with one finger if you want to and it's very sturdy very very good i bought this many years ago and it still works beautifully so if i was to recommend the beginners tripod i would recommend something like that lightweight and cheap and extends fully it consists of three parts one two three three segments plus the fourth segment which is in the middle so it extends up now if you're going to move a little bit more professional and you want to buy something a little bit harder or maybe more solid construction then i recommend the manfrotto and we're going to end with this manfrotto it's very tall it's about two meters height or two and a half meters when extended fully this I bought it's the most expensive it's about uh, 70 pounds or uh, I don't know hundred dollars but it is probably one of the most premium uh, one of the most premium uh, you can buy I'll, I'll show you some of its features the first thing is you can obviously collapse this the second thing is you've got this quick release legs it consists of very quick release legs that work beautifully using one hand i'll explain that in a second so what you do is you open them you close like that one second stay with me stay with me don't go anywhere it extends very high up and the the thing about this is they made them quick release using one hand so if you're in a rush just do that and they're all open so let's do that again all four are open at the same time and you can immediately extend it when you want to close them they all close at the same time so this is one of the good things about Manfrotto is that they are very handy now the beautiful the most beautiful thing about this whole device is this head here which is very important to have a good head when you are filming or taking pictures and this head is so unique that it rotates 360 degrees if you're taking a photograph and you control how much it rotates using this wheel so it's very simple you just hold it like that and now I cannot move it anymore if I want to release it I just turn the wheel and off I go I'm able to 
rotate again. If I want to keep it solid, just pan and tilt. I don't want to make it 360 degrees. Then I put it on the camera mode. And now I'm unable to move it in any other direction except for up and down. So now it's locked and now it's unlocked. It goes all the way. Very, very ingenious from it Manfrotto. You can have two settings. I don't know if you can see that, but there are two settings. There is the camera setting and then there is the video setting. So if you want to put it now, if I put it on the video setting, it only goes left and right. There is no turning 360. If I put it on the camera mode, which is this one here, then I can go all the 360. So I can be able to take more pictures. And also it does have this beautiful release button. Quick release, you just take that. And you can buy many of these. You can have one for each camera. And all you do, put it in here, lock it, and you're ready to go. Let me explain that again. So this will stay always in your camera. It's very small. It will always stay like that. You take pictures, handheld. Whenever you're ready, you just look how quickly that is. You put it in snaps in place and very sturdy as well quick release from Manfrotto very sturdy as well metal construction I think this is uh, titanium or it could be uh, aluminium I'm not sure yet it's very light and very versatile as well so I hope you like this video if you like it and you found it useful please leave me a like or a comment or tell me what I've done wrong and what I could have improved better which of these would you think might suit you the most? Which do you think you will go and buy? Which do you own, if you own any? And also, let me know if you found that you own one that is better than this and you recommend it for me. I do appreciate your uh, comments. So I'll see you in the next episode. And peace. <laughs> Tibidi bibi 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 bib